Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully we should now be live on a functioning live stream on YouTube. Fingers crossed today that this one actually works uh, for Blood and Venom Symbiomancer Symbio difficulty on the free-to-play account. So we have upgraded uh, the Summoned Symbio all the way up to rank 5 uh, and we are ready to go. We've got this guide by somebody called Sea and Man of Legends for some of the quote-unquote best boosts and hopefully uh, it's going to be a pretty good time today. Today. So we're using the X-Men Synergy team. I was thinking about using the Spider-Man as well. Somebody uh, pointed that one out of the Spider-Man Classic. Miles Morales, Electro, and Venom uh, is also quite good for the Summon Symbiote. Arguably, maybe a little bit better, uh, but either of the team synergies will work quite well. Uh, somebody's talking about the Heller and Heimdall one, but I feel like, you know, you don't really need to dash back at the start. Uh, you know, you can just, um, what is it, get everything down on eight hits if you're running the right boost. Uh, so hopefully it's going to be a good time today, but what is up to... Um, uh, Henry, Chaotic, Mafius, uh, Michael, Way, Unique, Dragon Man, Rayan, Bazingo, Callum, Gian, uh, Deb, Harry, Javart. Damn, man, chat's already buzzing. But anyway, we're going to uh, begin the quest, and then once we get into the uh, the very first fight, we're going to activate some of the boosts here uh, and see how we get on today. Hopefully, it's going to be uh, a pretty smooth run, and we're not going to get too wrecked, fingers crossed. Uh, let's go ahead and buy at least uh, four of the cut deep there. There. Um, gonna need a little bit of fight dirty as well. Probably just gonna buy, you know, buy a, a bit of a, a stack of boosts here, just for some fun and to make sure that we can uh, get stuff quite quickly. We're gonna need uh, quite a bit of total carnage, I would assume. So let's start off with uh, cut deep and then total carnage, and then once we get to act, uh, Spider-Man will activate. Um, uh, what is it? The True Strike one as well. But anyway, let's get stuck in and see how quickly we can deal with these fights. Vincent, hope you're doing well. Running Suicides is the free-to-play account, man. Can't afford those luxurious pay-to-win Suicide Masteries. Just going for the, uh, the standard ones. Right, there we go. But you don't need Suicides when everything is dead in under 15 hits. <laughs> Uh, and I think there are a couple of fights, to the best of my knowledge, I think Void and Abomination, where suicides are very bad to have. But I don't know if there's a way to, um, what is it, get those fights down with maybe using certain boosts before they become a problem. But with additional debuffs, they can sometimes be a little bit to your detriment. But you, d you don't really need them. Very marginal to, um, what is it, spend all the units to uh, redo your masteries just for, to make the fights die in like one or two less hits, maybe a bit less than that, maybe two or three less hits. How many units do I need for the final quest in 5.2? Depends how much of a, a beast you are, Henry de Beast. If you were a true beast, it wouldn't be too many, but it depends on your characters. There's a, a lot of variance. But I say, because if it's your first time dealing with a collector, I go with... Um, was it at least uh, at least a thousand just to make sure you don't get stuck at him? Uh, but again, if you're a really really sick player, maybe 500. I only used I think it was two team revives on my free to play account. But again, that wasn't my first time facing the collector, so it's kind of up to you, man, on how many you think you're gonna need. But the last thing you want to do is get your A team stuck at the collector. So maybe it's a good idea, even though you probably won't end up using a thousand units, to have a thousand units just for uh, a little bit of safety there. Right, need to get my parries on point today, man. Oh, absolutely ridiculous. I've got a rank 4 symbiote, so it's possible for me. Uh, no, I wouldn't do it with a rank 4 one. That would be a bit of a waste of time. So no, it, it is within the realm of possibility, it's just like you want to make sure you have the rank 5 one. So it makes sense to do epic 100% so you can get the rank 5 one and then do symbiote. So that, that order makes a lot more sense than trying to push through symbiote with a rank 4. So that would be uh, my personal suggestion there. Mate, where are these bleeds? Ronan's not a bleed immune character. Game's rigged, boys. Game is rigged against the free-to-play account. We didn't have no bleeds against Ronan on the main account. Just saying, this is a, a clear, another clear example of pay-to-win um, taking over our game, and also that six-star Loki, which I'm, I'm, I'm still incredibly salty about. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, I think a special one's gonna tear this X-23 apart, and then we're good, man. Uh, how many shards are required for boosts? Uh, depends how quick you play on your loading devices. Took me about 350 on the main account, but that was doing a, uh, a first run. And also, it depends what you're using. But I have a look at the uh, the uncollected guide, because that's going to be... Uh, sorry, the Symbiote guide. So type in uh, just to YouTube, see in Symbiote 100% guide. And that should um, be of uh, quite a bit of use to you, my friend. What do I think of Massacre? I like Massacre. He's very fun to play. We've got some uh, Massacre gameplay up on the channel. In the, uh, in the archives. So yeah, definitely uh, check some of that out. Oh, that Spider-Man is an awfully fun time there. Open a feature crystal? I will after I've done this. But I need to, uh, what is it? Do the quest to get the feature crystal before I can open it. There is unfortunately an order to these things, Jackson. <laughs> but yeah, we will open them. Uh, what is that? I want to do a double opening just this evening if we can um, uh, get it done 100% on the free to play. Which, providing I don't make too many fatal mistakes, uh, is with well within the realm of possibility. I can see how the perfect block boost would be really good if you suck at fighting Emma Frost. On well, the provision, you don't get hit, of course. But lucky for us, we've had a bit of practice, and down she goes on the, uh... Oh, do I have my, um... Oh, I just realized we're on the, the slightly uh, wrong resolution profile here. So if we change it to this one, hey, the screen's going to get a little bit bigger. Advanced level tactics. You damn well know it, give me a bear. What does free to play mean? It means we haven't spent any money on this account. Comparison to the main one where we spend a lot of money. Been uh, running this free to play account for about 14 months now. But this one, it's not too, you know, it's going to be a difficulty. It really isn't about spending money. It's just about having the right boost and not playing like a scrub. See, why have I put my hood in low demigod tier? Because there are better characters in hood than they get in the game. Hood's uh, alright, does some stuff, but I think you're lying to yourself if you believe he's anything higher than that. <laughs> Are all these strands going to disappear after this month? Yeah, the, the strands and the symbiote is going to disappear after this month. So you should make sure to uh, use them. And if you're looking for, you know, the absolute easiest way to do symbiote, you get so many strands from that friggin' logging calendar, man. So you can just wait like another week or two. It's going to be even easier to do. But this month, for all the event quest stuff, the symbiote is just like the biggest cheat code in the world to smashing it all out. Is 220 strands enough to beat the Sorcerer Supreme? 200% of the last part? Yeah, dude, that should be plenty, uh, providing you're making the runs in a, a timely fashion. So, you can, you know, get a good, like, two or three runs out of certain boosts there. So, providing you're playing very aggressively, it should be absolutely fine, my friend. What am I going to do? A 14 month free to play video? Uh, I, that not too much has changed, I think, in the last month or so. So I might wait until 15 months to do another one. Because, yeah, not, not, I'm going to be honest, man, not really much has advanced. I've had a minimal amount of time to play the free to play account. But we do have that wonderful low key. But I think we'll wait till the, uh, the 15 month mark now to do a free to play, um, what was it, big roster update sharing video. Jackson Jackson says, tell my name, bro. I'm going to show my friends. Well, you can show your friends, Jackson Jackson, that you are a man very much in need of attention. And it's probably not a good idea that you should beg from it from a random stranger off the internet. Maybe you should use the comfort of your own moral stature to uh, fortify your existence. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. 
Oh, yo, it's all good, Jason. How did you get your one star to max? 100% epic, mate. And there you go, you've got your one star character max now. How's Wasp? Um, she's, uh, she's alright. She's got some damage, but she's very low health pool and very low block proficiency. Uh, my man, Panaman Pete, recently got Wasp up to, um, uh, 565, because he loves G Ghost Man, and I think he took Wasp up, uh, uh, maybe Alliance Ward Defense, but he also very much likes the, the Quantum Trinity. So yeah, I was speaking to Panaman Pete this morning via Twitter, and he's gonna be hooking us up, uh, with some, uh, gameplay. So I'm really looking forward to that, man. Like, I want to see some max stat wasp action, because she's got some alright damage. She's just uh, a bit flimsy, eh? <laughs> Yo, what is up, Magi? I hope you're doing well, man. Uh, see, once you do your first lol run on the free-to-play, uh, uh, well, I think it... I think it's almost going to have run its course by that point. Uh, will I hang up the gloves? Uh, potentially. I don't know. I think I'll still do uncollected 100% every month. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to figure that out when we get there. Uh, Tim, thank you very much for the uh, the $5 super chat. Uh, thanks for helping me with this quest. Hope I pull a five-star bidded cap for my efforts. Dude, I hope you do as well, man. Bidded cap or Corvus are some crazy jackpot prizes for this one. Uh, but let's get you up there, Tim, as our blubberiest word of the day. And thank you very much for that $5 super chat, my dude. Let's get some mad love and chat for our boy uh, Tim McCoon there. And I think we're going to need to... Um, Oh, refresh total carnage because it's just gonna expire b before this one. So I need what do I want? Um, so I want unknown enemy and undying, right? Let's see if we can make two runs in this one with both of the boosts active. So let's quickly smash all three of them out in a row. So we want to go unknown enemy, undying. Right, and I do apologize if I might be a little bit slow at replying to stuff for a bit. <laughs> Just trying to focus and get this down uh, in the duration of the boost if we can. Oh yeah, I can just uh, go ham and attack with this one. We need to potentially worry about. Oh, there we go. Right, we still took a, a bit of a chunk of damage there. Oh man, that Electro is just a bit savage. Oh, I see. I see what you did there, Hector. It took it took me a while to pick up on that that road <laughs> that wordplay, uh, but yeah, dude, congratulations on the the recovery there. It's definitely uh, worth the uh, worth the watch. Hey, C and Loki stuns are now passive when the opponent is cursed. Well, that's great, but Loki is still he's still very underwhelming. They have been for quite some time, haven't they? I think they've always been passive, right? Or at least since the introduction of Wasp. Oh, there we go. Straight in the bin, boys. Oh, and I also need to, um... Do I need to get the the one that drains power as well? I'll get that when I get to vision, actually. Shouldn't be too bad. Do I know the stock market? I do not know anything about the stock market, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, mate, that was a fantastic fight. Sundying boost is a bloody good time. <laughs> okay, what do we have next? Green Goblin. Let's go for a bit of GG up next. And then we have the Vision Boss. I'll probably chuck on that, the power draining one for that. Wouldn't be the uh, the worst idea out there. Just so to make sure that we don't die from some random power drain and we can just always control that with a block. And down he goes! Oh, perfect, mate. Can't stop trying to evade Symbiote Supreme. How do you get out of that zone? Uh, how do you get out of that zone to evade every attack? 
Um, it's like, uh, what do you mean like the special two? Are you, is that the one you're referring to? It's very similar, I think, in terms of timing to um, Doctor Strange's special two. So there's not a huge amount of difference there to the best of my knowledge. I should have just maybe gone ham for the start. Right. I don't know if I can power drain after. Well, it worked every time there, so we'll take that. That seems pretty good. Okay, we got to exit out now. Just uh, replaying if we potentially can. We should, I think, have uh, all of the boosts active still. So let's uh, jump in there and see if we can get uh, vision while we have all of them active. How long have I played the game? Uh, what is it? Two and a bit years now? 30-something months, 32 months overall. Yo, greetings from Edinburgh. What is up, D Stowen? Hope you're doing well, mate. Not actual gaming? Oh, dude, thank you very much for tuning in. Certainly do appreciate it, mate. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's rinse Angela. Go for Electro. I think we still have... Uh, I think we've maybe got enough time to get to Vision for all the, with all of the boosts on. But, to be honest, the only boost we do need for Vision is really the Power Drainer one. So maybe we'll evaluate the boosts once we uh, enter the start of the next chapter. <laughs> Perfect. Even if he did do the special free right away, we still had the Indestructible one. Uh, so we still would not have died from that special free. Just as a uh, heads up there. Is there going to be a freestyle master mode challenge this month? I'm not too sure because I feel like I, I was contemplating doing one, but it's a little bit invalid just because you can use the symbiote uh, to, you know, if you're one of those people struggling uh, on pushing for master mode, you can just boost up the symbiote and he can, like, completely cheese it. So I'm not too sure if it's really all that worth doing, if I'm perfectly honest. But I might, I might do it for a little bit of fun. I don't know. Yo, what is up, Mattis? Hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> okay, come on, man. What's going on with the loading times? He did a lot better faster. Okay, Nebula up next. We had a pretty sick run against Nebula last time. I think we needed to bait out one special one, though. Because this chapter is a little bit annoying because there are a few characters that are... Um, what is it? Immune to uh, lead... Going pretty ballsy today with those nine combos. Perfect. It's a good, good little practice run. I'm interested to see how we, um, um, in what potential time we might be able to get this done today. If you could get it done in an hour and a half, that would be so sick. Fingers crossed. Right, I think we've still got two minutes left on some of the most valuable boosts. Whoa, there we go. Void straight in the bin, man. Have I thought about having long hair? I used to have substantially longer hair when I was a, uh, a teenager, but it was a mess. I just I looked like a giant mop head. So, I'm not personally fussed. I kind of like it. A little bit shorter, a little bit more trim. Yo, what is up, Bergie? Dude, thank you very much. Hope you have a good weekend as well, my dude. Some, uh, some big plans. Uh, myself, I think I've got a pretty chill weekend. I'm meeting my... Um, uh, my friend Ryan, who I haven't seen in a few weeks, for uh, drinks on Saturday evening. Now I'm proper looking forward to that, having a bit of a bit, bit of a boys catch up, see what he's been up to, see what's the gap around Camberley Town, you know. And then Saturday and Sunday, I think we're just planning to work and try and smash out a lot of videos during the day. It's got a four-star Venom out of a premium. Congrats, man! That is a very, very solid pull there. 
Okay, summon some beer. Hopefully we should still have the indestructible active, right? Should have just um maybe sliced into him there. Alright, we're gonna use the the same strat and just go in ham as we can and then block immediately after. Oh, flawed, mate. Oh, I'll tell you what, those first two chapters, man, I'm I'm pretty happy with how those ones turned out. Let's go uh, go back to the quest. Now, actually, I should have smashed just the, the play next there. Would have been a, a little bit better. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, okay, so we want to go to path A so we can take on magic. Uh, so we want to drop down first. Because we still have the unknown enemy active from Electro, so that's going to help to mitigate some of her limbo a little bit as well. And let's just quickly uh, check the status of our boost before we jump into the next fight. Um, oh, okay, so we still got another fight left on the boosts here, but next um, uh, fight onwards we're going to have to do a bit of refreshing. But that was sick, man. We actually managed to get make such good time there. I really like doing uh, the second free-to-play runs, man, just because we can learn, you know, learn so much on the main account. That's why we make all the mistakes, figure out all the stuff, and it's uh, always fun to try and put some uh, some good strategy that you've learned into practical application. But it's also a handy way of seeing if my guide was a super sick guide to do it. And again, if you want uh, all of the tips and tricks for how we've been rinsing this so far, uh, all of it is covered in the... Um, oh, we've lost the... 100% debuff one, and also the bleed. Oh no! Okay, I didn't refresh the uh, the buffs. That's why damage is so low. Oh, we still got the end, te the tail end of the crit bleed one though. It's just the double duration on buffs is um, expired, but we need to refresh quite a few stuff after this one. So that wasn't uh, the absolute worst case there, but um, I think I'll chuck recoup on now just for Yondu. Do you want a bit of safety on Yondu? Okay, so what do we have? We have Unknown Enemy, uh, so we need the double buff duration one back. And we also need um, Total Carnage back. And I think we're going to go for one in Recoup as well. Because I know I need Recoup for Cable. So we're just going to have it as a bit of a safety net here as well. And then we'll do the Cable path next. I think it's just going to the, is it the right or left Cable. My goodness, she gone. <laughs> Straight in the bin, man. Oh gosh. I saw that I saw that that Reddit post going around recommending you use the perfect block all the time instead of total carnage. Don't listen to it guys. Total carnage and double debuff duration. It's it's the way to go. I'm telling you, if you want your run to be four times as longer, then you may not want to use Total Carnage all the time. But if you want to be getting everything down immediately, well, oh, this is definitely the way to go. What do I force on Classic Hulk? He's okay. Good poison to me, good stun, okay damage. Nothing too special. Loot Cage is, in my opinion, a, a better version of uh, what Hulk is. But uh, a bleeding mean variant that can do a little bit more. Oh, just finished Symbio difficulty and got Iron Patriot. R.I.P. Danish, man. That is not what anybody wants to see. Hopefully, we're going to get something a little bit more juicy than um, an IP. Rayquaza, so you just got to do epic 100%, man. Very, very straightforward. Oh, thank you very much, Alexander. Appreciate the kind words from Germany. Also, what is up to my man, Tony Crossman? Always a pleasure to see you on the live streams, man. Good morning to you in Wisconsin. Hope it's all going well today, my dude. Poor, slamming it, mate. 
Yo, what's um, up, uh, Ankit? Dude, greetings to you in Thailand, man. Hopefully it's a, a lovely day there today. Um, okay, so we've got Kang, and then we're going to have to chuck uh, an energy refill on after this one. But Kang is just a case of um, don't use a special attack. Don't get him to a special two. Or actually, we can probably use a special attack just to finish him off here. Whew, just about, boys. Let's try and smash that. There's not going to be a replay button because it's the first completion, so we need to go back to quest and then re-enter this one. And then we're going to take out the cable path. Um, so whereabouts is the cable one? I think it's... Is it here? No, it's not that. Okay, it's the, the opposite one. So we're going to uh, this path here. Let's quickly smash in a full energy refill. And jump over here. And then... We've got a lot of bleeding immune characters on this path, so this one's a little bit more of a pain in the ass. A total carnage isn't uh, as valuable, but there is a sentry and there is a guillotine. But I think recoup hopefully should allow us to uh, not get completely wrecked on cable. Fingers crossed. Is there a King Groot up next? Yeah, it's King Groot. And then I think Cable, then Luke Cage, then some other bleeding mean. I think there's just a regular Groot as well. With the Carnage buff, do I think people are going to go crazy in Carnage Arena? I don't think they're going to go any crazier than some of the new characters we've seen. Um, should have maybe got the, the perfect block one for this. It's so, alright, our man KG shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, the power burn is actually a bit of a, a bit of a detriment. Come on, mate. Fantastic. Oh, and there we go. King Groot's down. Uh, should I rank for Luke Cage or St uh, Spider-Man Stark? Oh, definitely Spider-Man Stark, man. Easy one. Do I wish Infinity Thanos was this easy to fight? Uh, I liked most of the Infinity Thanos fight. It wasn't, it wasn't too annoying to deal with. But I think this difficulty is it's kind of uh, it's its own brand of fun. Oh, beautiful man. Recoup. <laughs> Make sure you have done for that cable. It's very important, man, or you're just going to get wrecked from that degeneration. But if you do have recoup on, then it's just a very small hill for your symbiote there. Alright, no, just giving him more power at this point. Five combo, and this man should be in the ground. Whew, sick one. We got one more bleed immune character. I think it's just the standard group after this one, but because we should have double debuff duration still active, uh, should be too much of an issue. I think Turtle Carnage is going to run out after we fight the final Kang. If we can get, I think we can get Kang down in that time. Probably want to double check just before you go into the Kang fight, but it doesn't matter for group. Okay, we just want to go for a standard 5 combo here. Maybe a double medium. Yeah, there we go. It's a, lo a little bit more efficient.
Right, fingers crossed this is enough. And it's not, but we can now bait out a special one. Come on. Let's get a big medium. Ah, very close, boys. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Hogan. Prat, if, if anybody's wondering what boost we're running, all of that uh, is going to be detailed, well, is already detailed in the 100% symbiote guide. Check it out, boys. If you want an in-depth breakdown for the entire mode of what boost to use when, if you want to be having a, a god tier, easy game, easy life run, I've shared kind of the full strategy of exactly what I'm executing on this live stream in the 100% best boosts and uh, tips video. So it's all out there, boys. You just have to tap to the other video. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. Definitely. <laughs> How many points for Corvus on 4-star basic? Oh, damn. I'd say 4.5 million plus is, is the safe the safe one to go for. Okay, so we still got two minutes on the uh, the essential boost there. But yeah, I'm not really too sure what Corvus is going to come out, man, because he's quite desirable. Really, really desirable at the moment, even as a even as a four star champion. There we go. Right, Kang's down. We got one more path to go. We've got uh, about a minute left on the boost, so we probably have enough for two more fights. Let's quickly smash that replay button. But yeah, I'd say 4.5 million is the safe, but anything over 4 million might get the job done. But it's it's hard to say just because there's there hasn't been a champion as desirable as Corvus in the basic arena for quite some time. I don't know, he's available as a five and a six star character, so maybe some people have, have quelled the need there. Oh, thank you very much, Doc Strange, man. Can I do latest video on mastery setup? JC, if you type in Cian's mastery setup 2018, my mastery setups have not changed from then. Uh, like, not much has changed with masteries, man, so there is um, not much of a need to, you know, do uh, a mastery video every month, for example, because it's still the same as it was when I recorded that video. So yeah, definitely, if you want to check out my masteries, man, they can be found by typing that into uh, YouTube. I was about to go for Corvus in Arena, then I duped him out of a four-star crystal. Oh, clutch, my boy. Clutch. Oh, I can't tell as well. Give me a bit. <laughs> it's gone to that point, man. When that was the, the trolliest thing of the first uh, stream. Oh, no. Right, we took uh, an arrow to the to the knee there and the face. Mistakes were made. But we've been doing quite so uh, quite well so far. Let's just keep up uh, a mild level of focus, and we might be able to get in, get in some good times. Oh, I think my uh, total carnage boost has probably expired. Yeah, we're lacking. That's probably the reason why he was able to actually use an ability. So this is what it's like if you don't have Total Carnage. You might actually see the, the number 20 on the hit counter. Oh. Oh, 20. Oh, that's disgusting. No. We're not having that. Let's get Total Carnage back up. <laughs> Pop in these energy refills like candy, man, because we're just getting it done so fast. Speed. Efficiency. It's the name of the game. Okay, double debuff. We just need uh, total carnage on now. Sick one. Let's go back in. Is Yondu good? Yondu is it's pretty good, man. But if you're looking for uh, the, the answer to is this character good, just type in Seton's tier list. Insert month. Seton's tier list, October 2018. And then all my uh, thoughts roughly on characters and how they compare to each other and how good they potentially might be can be found on one simple, hopefully quite easy to read spreadsheet. Let's go. No! What's going on here? Okay, that's not my connection. We're good though. Right, beat our heavy attack. 
Retaliate, punish. Should get him in the bin. Perfect. Um, what did I get it for? Uh, no, I got the five star camps in America and Findy Wall just from a basic crystal. We did like a triple basic opening just after I got back from New York Comic Con. We got like Cap and Findy Wall. We awakened Angela, which was pretty rubbish, and then got like Kingpin and Nebula. So it's kind of like three misses and one hit, man. But I'm so, I was so excited with that Captain America Infinity War that I didn't really care about anything else. Man, we're just not getting the bleeds here. Ah, oh, Kang is my favorite of all of these bosses. He is a great boss fight. More fights like Kang, please, Kabam. Where do those units come from? They come from the fact that I barely, I never spend them outside of energy refills. So that's uh, essentially where they come from there. Um, okay, what do we want to go for here? Let's go for the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. <laughs> What's that? Grant is saying, almost every question I've seen on this track has been addressed by Cian on one of or more of his videos. Oh, that's always it, Grant. It's like, hey, Cian, I'm your biggest fan. Can you answer this question that has, you know, you've done five video guides on in the last month? <laughs> oh, it's always the way, my friend. Just live stream chat. People come in. Hey, Cian, is my is my own patriot a good character? Yeah, I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Yo, what is up, Poos? Hope you're doing well, mate. Always a pleasure to see you on the live stream. Omega Red. I got Omega Red down before he could kill me. That was the, the plan there. That's probably the best plan for dealing with Omega Red. He's a bit of a pain in the ass. Try not to take too much of that damage, but... Yeah, that I, I, I feel like I just played him fairly standard, but we're going to fight him probably within the next uh, half an hour, 40 minutes, live. Rank 4, Omega Red or Corvus 5 star? Probably Corvus, but there's arguments for Omega Red depending on what you need the character for, I would say. Right, okay, we have Total Carnage active. Let's also get the True Strike one. And is there anything else that we would like here? Um, what's the one? Okay, let's go for a bit of momentum as well. Let me just check my uh, my stack of strands. Oh, didn't mean to pull it down there. Okay, we're doing good. we still got 260 left, and I've already brought the majority of boosts for this run. Right, I'm going to make sure we save up to the, uh, the special two on this one. Oh! Not bad at all. Okay, we can just... Oh no! That's so annoying! <sighs> My goodness. I thought we we go for it, we balls it. Oh! Rip, man. Rip. Infinity War Clown Fiesta, man. <sighs> right, we're just going to chuck in a 40% boost. B -b -b boost. Let's go! Rank 5, uh, my Hyperion Corvus 4 star, or rank 4 pro 5 star Proxima, all awakened. Probably the 5 star Proxima I go for there, my friend. Oh, we got so denied there. I should have just let him bleed out. My my mistake that I made was I attacked into him, thus causing his armor to trigger, thus con uh, causing all of my bleed stacks to perish. So basically, I'm a noob, is is the, the, the long and short of that one, which we already knew. We already knew that I was a noob. But now we know even more. Get in the bin, son. Get in the bin. So Iron Man Infinity War is only bleed immune when he has one or more stacks of armor. And the stacks of armor can fall off over time. So if he doesn't have any stacks of armor, he can be bled.
Sorted, boys. Sorted. Right, for Emma Frost, I'm just gonna uh, bring in like one barrier of additional safety here. Because if we bring in, um, what is it? Is that Undying? No, it's not Undying. Which is the one that revives you up again? Oh no, I'm eating, into, eating into time here. Symbiotic Switch, that's not the one. Tenacious, Second Wind. Right, Second Wind, this is the one that we want to have. Let's have this active just for a bit of safety for this run, so we don't need to eat into any more revives. That is the plan, boys. she goes nice it's just uh, good to have that one for a bit of a additional layer of safety there and now we got the Deadpool to deal with as well who hopefully shouldn't be too bad but um might be a bit of a bit of an asshole we'll have to see I think he, we immediately trigger masochism via one of the the passives I think the symbiote has so I think we can stun him right away oh no maybe not Straight in the bin, mate. Oh, I'm just glad that friggin' Infinity War Iron Man is down. Right, let's smash the, the replay on that. And we're gonna need to get a uh, recoup active as well. Not too sure how long we have left on uh, the Total Carnage and also debuff duration, but it's good to uh, keep an eye on that one. Punisher up, up first. Let's just have a quick look at debuff so we can figure out right yeah we need to refresh double debuff uh, duration and also total carnage uh, after this fight well double debuff duration after this one and then total carnage after the next one Ooh, very smooth kill there Hey, so you've just finished Act 500% and have the generic. Should I go for Cap Infinity War or Void? Oh, man, that is a, a tough decision. I don't think there's any straightforward answer to that, my friend. Say, so, uh, maybe Void, maybe Cap. Depends on your Alliance Wolf Path and uh, obligations and responsibilities within your Alliance. This Cap Infinity War could be good for some paths. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Void is overall the better Alliance Wolf character. It really does depend on the fight and matchup, because I think Cap definitely has fights where he's a bit better than Void. Especially if you're heavy countering. This is heavy, it's hard, man, especially if you're doing a few blocks and parries and putting that in the mix. Okay, so Iceman, the golden rule of Iceman, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget this rule. Use recoup or get wrecked. That's that's pretty much it. Recoup. We, we should also probably use Undying as well, because I'm going to need that for Abomination. So let's uh, chuck on Undying, and where is Recoup as well? And we're going to have to refresh Total Carnage after this fight, but it doesn't matter for this one, considering that Iceman is... Oh, do we want to chuck on Unknown Enemy as well? We need that for Abomination, so let's go for it. Oh, but Abomination, man. Crazy, crazy fight. Oh, and also ice, uh, what was it, Unknown Enemy removed the, uh, the ice armor there. Oh, and actually caused our, um... Yeah, it didn't, it, it, it removed Cold Snap and seemed to cause, uh, the ice armor just to not come into play at all. Great, it's a very good time. 
but just chucking pretty much everything active for Abomination because he is a pain in the ass. Well, let's do it, boys. Oh, no. Jeff, dude, I'm very gutted to hear that uh, you've been suffering from some terrible, terrible luck when it comes to those, uh, those rewards. Very unfortunate, my dude. No, come on! Oh. oh, no, we didn't have total carnage on! What a muppet! That was the, the whole reason why we died to that one. Oh, what an idiot. Such a stupid play. That would have gone down so uh, so much better if we had total carnage and just gone for it. Don't make the same mistakes I do, ladies and gentlemen. You have. You've been warned. You now know. Okay, we've got the immunity, so we can just go in. 20% revive on a budget, boys. <laughs> oh, one idiot. Damn, man. It's death number two, and that one was, again, totally avoidable. Just so much to friggin' juggle in terms of these buffs. Oh, there we go. Scarlet Witch is down. Oof, man. That is one big oof as well. How many strands have I used so far? I've kind of pre-purchased some buffs, so it's a little bit hard to say exactly. Um, I'll, I'll let you know once once I finish with the run how many we've uh, used total. Oh, I did have Recoup active, Alpar. But the thing is, uh, what is it? Poison um, reduces healing. So once you got more than a couple of stacks, man, you're just not getting anything from recoup. So it helps for a little bit, but it's not really essential for that fight. But you want to have recoup active on this path for the the previous ice man. So helps a little bit, but nothing too insane. We've got that ice man one more time. Come on, let's get this Deadpool down. Hopefully this one is a magical, spectacular kill. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I shed a tear at how magical that uh, one was specifically. Let's go for the replay again. And we are 45 or so minutes into it. We have almost done the first uh, four quests 100%. We are blazing a trail, ladies and gentlemen. I think we can do all of them in under an hour and a half. Provided we don't cock up too much. So... Fingers crossed for less cocking up. Open 17th 5 star crystal got Iron Man Infinity War. Congratulations, man. Any advice on the Omega Red? Uh, I think it's just kill him before he kills you. Make sure you have Indestructible on. Um, and just double debuff duration. Go as ham as you possibly can on him. Make sure you get away from him whenever you have the, the 10 stacks just to allow him to cool down a little bit. But we will be getting to that Omega Red um, fairly shortly so you can see how we deal with um, him. Have I used Timed All Power Start 1 Symbiotic Switch yet? I haven't. Uh, no. I might try that out for a little bit of fun, but just when we're doing this run. Just want to make sure that we can get everything done very quickly. Sounds like a bit of a cheese tactic. I'm not too sure if it's the most efficient, unless I'm missing something. And I maybe missed a, a bit of a, an opening to um, get some damage in the beginning. I like these, uh, these buffs from Frenzy, just because I wanted to try them to make Iron Man and Vindy War easier. They don't appear to be doing a lot. Sword. Uh, does Recute work? Yes, the Recute does work for Cable, but it doesn't work for Dormammu or Omega in the final one. 
But again, if you are looking to blaze a trail, we do have all of the information written down on how to make this very, very easy um, on the 100% symbiote guy. So, I, again, I do recommend checking that one out. Corvus Glaive roll, roll over to Ultron. Oh no, Swashbuckler. It's not what you want, eh? Ultron. It could it could be worse than an Ultron. <laughs> yeah, I've got the uh, the one star as my uh, top character on the free to play as well, Mason. Oh, Jordan, there's there's good uh, there's good arguments for each and every one of those characters depending on uh, what exactly you're trying to do. So yeah, think about your your next goal and which one's going to be more useful. I probably say it's between the the Medusa or Captain America Infinity War. If it's Alliance War you'll focus on probably Cap Infinity War. If it's a Labyrinth maybe Medusa. But again, it entirely depends on exactly what you're trying to do. Okay, we still got some time on all of the boosts. Going quite well. Oh, the Total Carnage buff is so great, man. I really really enjoy that one. Oh, sure, why not? Thank you very much for the, the kind words. I'm saying 4.5 million plus if you want a good level of safety for Corvus. Uh, five, 5 million for super safety. And 6 million if you want insanity safety. But it's always one of those things, man. If you're going to put in the time to grind a very, you know, desirable character like Corvus, the motto, better safe than salty, tends to come into practical application. Maybe just mashed in right at the start of the fight there. Boosh! Definitely don't need that heal block. Just cut through that Deadpool every time. Uh, now we can move on to chapter number three. We've got the Void one to deal with here. I think because we've still got a little bit of True Strike active, we should go for this, um, this lane first. Right, do I definitely have time on all the boosts? What am I looking for? Momentum, unknown enemy, cut deep. Okay, it's another two minutes, right? So I just need, um... Okay, cool. Just having a look at that. The live stream time is pretty helpful for trying to figure out how long I've got left on my, my boosts. Love it, man. So we've got another two minutes, and then we, we just need, um, for this one, it's just cut deep, the double debuff one, um, and also total carnage. But when it comes to void, we're also going to need to apply recoup again. Uh, and we'll probably have to use recoup twice, I would assume. We should probably have a look at our symbiote strands just before uh, refreshing total carnage again, just to see how. Actually, can we look while we're on the floor? Okay, we've still got two o two o five left, and I've I've still got like a few of certain buffs. So so far we have, I think probably used in the region of like 200, 250, and we've got four of the the ones one hundred percent. Where are my critical bleeds? There we go. Sword boys, easy game, easy life. Have I ever gone live by accident? Nope. I have, uh, what is it, different live streaming profiles, so I'm always uh, very careful of that. I have, what is it? Mm, yeah, no, not to the best of my knowledge, or if I did, it was very, very early on. Yo, what is up, Flack? Good morning from uh, Philadelphia. Good morning to Philadelphia, should I should I say? 
Uh, how do you know when Punisher will get injured? So he's got a chance to get injured if he dies from a direct hit, but if he dies from a damage overtime effect, aka on the summon symbiote a bleed, you can actually uh, bypass the chance for him to get the the injured status. So if you you know get very very low and just allow the the bleed to um, tick over for the final hit. Uh, but it kind of becomes an art when fighting Punishers to see how quickly you can dispatch of them. Good night from Japan. Oh, take care, Tom. Uh, <laughs> what's that? Going to watch the stream again later and turn easy game, easy life into a drinking game. I think you're going to get absolutely paralyzed tonight, Chris. I, uh, I do apologize for you waking up in the hospital tomorrow morning. Okay, so we've got Wasps to deal with, and then we've got a truck on Riku, um, so that we can deal with Void. But we don't want to attack into Wasp when she isn't stunned. Oh, actually, we can attack into her now, because, uh, what is it, Quantum Evades down. But there we go, no need, boys, no need. Have I seen Venom? I did enjoy it, man. Ooh, Shabab, do best of luck on uh, that six-star um, crystal. Only 50 more shards. Full five star hood. Uh, five star hood's not bad if you need the utility and nullify. Be quite a good one to get. Oh, okay. So I need to. I forgot to refresh the um, total carnage there. All right. I'm gonna have to pay a little bit more attention on this and a little bit less attention on chat. So I, I do apologise for that. But we've um, got to have a, a pretty smooth run in the final two chapters. Try and get this whole thing done in an under an hour and a half. Okay. So don't attack into block. That's the golden rule of this void as well. We did put Total Carnage live, right? Okay, yeah, we do have the crit leads. Cool. A little bit worried them for a sec. But we didn't. Should have probably just thrown the special one there. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, back out. Just because it was the first time completion. So we need to go back in in order to um, uh, replay that one. This difficulty is super fun. It is a, a proper good time, man. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, let's go down this avenue. Your final featured was a five-star juggernaut dupe. Oh, not probably what you're after there. The second to last one was a Corvus dupe. Okay, that's uh, a little bit of redemption there, Timothy. But what's up, man? Hope you're doing well today. Just trying to uh, speed run uh, Epic this morning. Sorry, not Epic. Symbiote difficulty on the free-to-play account to uh, see if we can do it in under an hour and a half. Currently on, uh, I think, a runtime of approximately like 56, 57 minutes. And we have... It's like eight more paths to go. Something along, along those lines. Eight more paths. Okay, it's, it's, it's three more in this one, and I'm pretty sure it's five in the last one. So yeah, I don't know, it might be possible. Depends how quickly we can smash through these Kamala Khans. I don't think there are too many bleeding immune characters in this one. There is the Unstoppable Colossus. Right, let's smash out that energy refill, and then we got Spider-Man to deal with. We got a second path there. Um, what's that? Sinsex. I I'm not too sure. I necessarily. Well, obviously, cheaters are a problem at the moment uh, in certain alliances, but the problem is as well that Alliance War seasons are very, um, very burnout. And a very small mistake that you can make that can literally be a fraction of a second uh, is a mistake that can end up haunting you for a month. So I think there's a lot of stress and pressure on Alliance War for a mode of gameplay that a lot of people feel really isn't worth all of the stress to get the rewards for. Especially if you're doing the really difficult stuff. So I, th I think there are a lot of problems with Alliance War. But she is obviously is, is one of the problems as well, man. It's very discouraging when... Um, what is it? Some alliances are playing fairly and some are using a, a flurry of pilots to sort out all their accounts. But at the same time, we saw last season Kabam taking some very heavy action uh, against cheating alliances. So just in that particular regard, it seems to be moving in a, in a better direction. 
Oh my gosh, that's pretty much my entire vocabulary there, Poos. <laughs> We're gonna put this Muppet in the Clown Fiesta bin. Uh, see, it is Star Wars great for this difficulty too, right? Nope, you don't want to use anybody apart from the Summon Symbiote. If you are using anybody apart from the symbi Summon Symbiote for a proper run, you are wasting your time. So there is no reason to use anything other than the Summon Symbiote. You should use Summon Symbiote and then four characters that make him even more powerful just via their synergies. And there are a few different teams like X-Men or potentially the Spider-Man team, the Spider-Man team. Or some people are using Heimdall teams, but I don't think Heimdall teams are really that necessary, just because all the fights are so quick that you probably just want to increase the damage output, as much crit, as much additional attack, as much crit damage on the symbiote as you can. But hey, each to their own, my boys, each to their own. Okay, don't attack into the block. I have the XS Max, Cameron. And it's an incredibly great device to play MCOC on. Oh. Should be enough. Straight in the bin, lads. Why is this so easy? It, it just is, my friend. It just is. Knowledge is power, and if you've got the knowledge to blitz down this mode, uh, you're not going to have too much trouble with it. Okay, let's go for Vulture next. I forgot how uh, much duration I have left on Turtle Carnage. i to pop that. Same time as Recoup, right? How max is it actually? Uh, it's a minimal max, but it's uh, the loading times are insane for fights. It's a little bit of a step up from the iPhone X. So if you're like somebody that play the iPhone XS Max is really only worth getting if you're somebody that plays video games on your mobile phone in his parents' garden all day. Aside from that, you put you probably don't need it unless you're a massive blubbery whale and just want it anyway. It's a very minimal upgrade from the X. And the X is a very minimal difference from the 8. So yeah, unless you're a big old blubbery clown fiesta boy, you probably don't want to go for it. I have 85 strands left to boost. Is that enough for a, for the final run? Um, what are you? If you got one path for the final run, if you do have one path for the final run, that should be enough. That's what you're talking about there. But also, if you, you know don't feel any need to rush and get it done, you could maybe wait a little bit longer. Because ideally, if you're using stuff a bit optimally here, you want to be doing multiple paths kind of back to back. I think that was uh, Unknown Enemy coming into effect there. What's the combo for the seven hits on the extended power? So technically, you can get nine hits off. So it's... um. Eight hits, eight hits for safety, nine hits if you want to gamble, but it's uh, medium, um, what is it? Medium, light, light, medium, and then a standard five combo as well. But if you are trying to do the eight combo, which is probably the one, if you're not too familiar with combos, it's a bit safer to do. It's medium, light, medium, and then medium, triple light, medium, standard five, eight combo. Oh. Do we have the double debuff duration? I don't think we do. Okay, yeah, we don't for this. So I need to refresh that one after. But it's alright, because we still have the crit leads active. Is the Note 9 worth buying if it's an Android device for gaming? Probably not. <laughs> Depends what you're trying to, you know, get out of a phone, really, though. It's the, the bigger question. Uh, okay, we got two minutes left on Recube and Total Carnage. That's great news. Let's refresh Cut Deep one more time and go for Modok. And we ideally only want to attack into Modok while he is stunned. Oh, 
Oh, right, Timothy, that is a bit too much information for me to take in and comment on. If you just save that question, man, uh, and then I will uh, get back to it a little bit later. Just because I need to, uh, what is it, focus up on a few of those fights. But I'll give you a good answer to that one later. But yeah, I I'm just off the cuff, because I'm trying to play so quickly here. I don't have time to go into any detail questions, unfortunately, today. So just as a, a bit of a heads up, simple questions that I can give a very uh, one-word answer to. <laughs> That's what we're looking for, boys. But yeah, I want to try and get an arena stream done Maybe a little bit later as well, because I do have quite a bit of arena to find. Oh, your five-star magic! Congratulations on getting her awakened from the uh, the crystal on this one. Yeah, man, these crystals can be uh, super rewarding. Let me just double check. We got Recoup active. Fantastic. But after the we go into the next run, we're going to have to refresh Total Carnage. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so we've got one more path here, and then uh, five more paths in the final chapter. Six more paths total, man. We are getting there. We're slogging it out. We're on the grind. Oh, okay. We have two seconds left on Total Carnage. Why not? Maximization, ladies and gentlemen. It's what the efficient players do. I don't see any crit bleeds, it's because my maximization tactic has failed. I should still have it active, right? From the point you enter the fight. Well, I guess my maximization tactic backfired and Total Carnage still managed to run out. Or ah. well, maybe it was Recoup that I had active. Maybe I was trying to be too greedy there. Do I watch cricket? Unfortunately, I don't watch cricket. I don't know anything about it, I'm afraid. Captain America Infinity War 4 star good. He's a really good character. Depends, you know, where you're at in the game and what you're trying to do as to how useful uh, he might be. But generally speaking, Captain America Infinity War is a god tier character. He's so good. And we have a, a video uh, playing Captain America Infinity War that we uploaded yesterday on the channel if you want to check out uh, me playing the five star version. But the five star version, what you see in the video yesterday is kind of the equivalent to like a maxed out four star. Am I going to pop the crystal right away? I'm going to do it later. We're going to do like a, a double featured opening for both the, the main account one, because I still haven't opened that one, and also the free to play. And then I also have like a couple more five stars to open on the main account. So it's going to be a big boy opening later, there, and I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, I'm just hoping we get something good, man. Awakening Captain America, or getting Corvus. I think uh, some of the big ones. Also, Awakening Ghost Rider as well, or Magic, would be really, really sick. There's quite a few, like, really, really big wins for us on the main account from the, the Crystal. I think on the free-to-play account, I'd really like... If I could get Captain America Infinity War 5-star on the free-to-play account, I could probably rank 5 him quite quickly. So that's kind of why I'd like to, um... Ideally get him on the free-to-play. Just have somebody a little bit different right at the top to play around with. Because 565 Captain America and Finny Wall would be so beast mode, man. Love it. Am I going to watch the new season of Rick and Morty when it comes out? Of course I am, mate. Rick and Morty's uh, insane. It's been, uh, it feels like it's been ages now. I don't know, when's the, when's the new season pegged to be out? I know I need to get around to, well, I need to persuade my girlfriend to, uh, tonight to watch uh, season three of Daredevil with me, man. 24 layover. Oh, I don't really have too many great London recommendations. I don't spend a huge amount of time there. But I don't know, some some other people might in chat. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm not the, the, the fountain of London knowledge, I'm afraid. Do you think you can run epic difficulty with a boosted symbiote level 4? You certainly can. It's 100% uh, possible. How many NA do you refills for exploring symbiote difficulty? Um, I don't know how many it's been so far. Gosh, I, I haven't been counting at all, so I'm not. 
But what is it? Go. You'll be able to figure out if you want um, by going to the start of the. Once this live stream is on demand, go to the start, check how many units I've got, um, and then go to the end of it. And you uh, should be able to figure it out. So that's that's a way to know, but not immediate information there. How good is Corvus right now? Very good for a lot of stuff, my friend. Hey, what's up, Igor? Hope you're doing well. But yeah, Corvus excels in short bursty fights. But you need to pimp Corvus out quite a bit. But if you just type in like five star Corvus gameplay alliance war or uncollected. You can start to see some crazy stuff if you have never seen a Corvus fight in your life. And are curious as to why so many people like Corvus. Oh, we've got no crits there. Rubbish. Be over. Am I a fan of the Peaky Blinders series? See and ever watch it? Um, I have watched, I think, a little bit of it. I think I watched season one. Quite quite good, but I just haven't watched um, any more of that. I just haven't had the time to watch any more. Right, just looking for Rehoop here. Where about is Rehoop again? Okay, it's just here. Just trying to think if there are any paths that I've needed Rehoop for in the final chapter. I don't think so. Gosh, I should just quickly get my Word document up. Oh, beautiful execution there. And let's move on to the final chapter. I'm going to get as far as I can before my, um, what is it, Total Carnage boost runs out. And then I'm going to have uh, a very short break to um, occupy the restroom. So, your boy needs uh, needs a minute or two, man. Too many, uh, too many cups of tea this morning. Which is actually the truth, man. I've had like five cups of tea this morning because I'm an absolute fiend for the tea. Oh, yeah. A Venom and Carnage Aaron, especially after the buffs, man, are such great characters to pick up. So wishing you all the best in your hunt for either one of those. But anyway, people were asking for a Mega Red. Uh, so we are going to go straight toward a Mega Red and try and wreck this land. Right, if we jump on Corvus now, he's going to be susceptible to... Oh no, he gets rid of all the bleeds. But there's a small time where you can... Um... <laughs> yeah, he gets the bleed debuffs, but... And as soon as you knock him down, gets rid of them. So even though he doesn't bleed, he, he does bleed visually. He doesn't actually take any of the bleed damage. It's annoying, mate. Uh, there are going to be like rotating changes, Snow Barry, in Alliance War. So there's going to be like a different n node uh, or different set of nodes every single season. And I think they're trying to get it to a stage where you kind of pick your defensive nodes of what you'd like to kit out. Yeah, you've just got to make sure you get away from a Mega when you're getting uh, anywhere close to 10 stacks. Should be able to finish him off there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do I rank up? Awakened Luke Cage or Unawakened Venom? Oh, damn, man. Brilliant. They're both good options, dude. Depends who you uh, like the most, I would say. Ooh, I'd, I'd maybe go for Venom over Luke Cage. I don't know, Luke Cage is really, really... They're both really, really useful characters, man. There's not a, ba there's not a bad choice. But it depends... I think about what you need either one of the characters for, and which one is going to be the most useful to your progression in the game. So have a, a think about that, and that's probably going to be the question that helps you make up... Help me <laughs> figure out that one. But yeah, think about what you're trying to do next, whether it's Act 500% or Labyrinth, but the only really thing you need Rank 4 characters for, well, the only essential stuff, 
um, technically speaking, is uh, Labyrinth of Legends and Alliance War. Because you can do everything else in the game without rank 4 characters. So, I don't know if you're going to be using any for Alliance War, but then again, when it comes to Alliance War, if we want to get really technical, neither of those characters are the absolute best, but they can both, you know, slug quite a bit. How do you not get wrecked by Dorm? Kill him before he kills you. That's that's the plan. Also, I, I've seen people put on the, I think, the perfect block one, so they can just block all the specials, and then they never have to dash back. That's uh, another one, but you have to be at full health for that, so it means playing perfectly up until that point, which is um, tricky. So I'd just go for the kill him before he kills you tactic. Okay, we are going to have a very brief break. I'm going to be back for a few uh, minutes. Just need to uh, quickly run inside uh, and use the gentleman's room. So, one second, let me just chuck this up, and then we're going to be back for uh, the final few paths. So we are smashing, blazing a trail, 75 minutes so far. Uh, proper chuff with it. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now back, and hopefully, it's, well, it's going to be a little bit brighter. I decided to uh, it's get a little bit muggy in here, so I uh, opened the door for a bit of fresh air. You know, always good to uh, get that oxygen in the mix, just so that we can uh, stay breathing. That is usually quite important. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at the, the boost that we have at the moment. So we've got um, uh, cut deep on for another five minutes. So the two that we need, we need Undying and also Total Carnage, because Undying is just uh, the, the cheat code for this fight, essentially. So do you want Undying like the last 10 minutes, and then we got Total Carnage, We're probably going to buy that a couple more times. And I think we should be in for a fairly uh, sick finish here. So let's go ahead and pop both of these boosts, and thank you and with our summon symbiote. And then we just sit back, have a sip of the 7-Up. Uh, welcome, everybody, back to chat. Hope you're all doing well. Having a fantastic Friday so far. Maybe you got some plans for the weekend. Maybe you don't. Um, but it doesn't matter, because you can stay inside and grind arena for a minimal amount of gold that is going to allow you to take up maybe one character, maybe even two, if you're lucky. Hmm. 
beautiful man. I love that fight. That is a very fun fight. Oh, of course I did, Edwin. Gosh, what kind of animal do you think I am? Um, okay, let's smash the, the replay button now and uh, go again. Is five star Stark Spidey worth a generic? A ah, little bit, a little bit debatable sometimes. Depends. Ugh, really. I, I think his crit is very, very, very nice to have, but it's not essential. He's still a very good character without it. So it's, it's kind of up to you, but if you are a full Stark Spidey lover through and through, then it might be quite quite a good one to use. Like, I, I feel the difference a reasonable amount when I'm playing Stark Spidey, because a lot of characters' damage output comes off crit, and that just gives them, you know, so much more crit chance to uh, mess about with. Right, let's go for this uh, Juggernaut up next. When is the six star Loki gameplay coming? I will spam until you reply. I mean, spamming until I reply is a guaranteed way to either get ignored or... Well, the, the, depends what kind of spam it is. So, patiently asking your question is, is probably a better way of... Ref uh, <laughs> uh, what is that? Phrasing that one. Instead of trying to hold me at gunpoint there, Udit. But yes, yeah, so it will be coming uh, soon, my friend. Soon. TM. Maybe over the course of the weekend. I'd like to do the Six Star Winter Soldier gameplay today. That would be really, really nice to smash out. So I'd like to do the Symbiote difficulty and then um, record the Winter Soldier gameplay. Schedule the, the like quadruple five star opening. Double featured across the free to play and main account. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, man. It should be a fun time. Oh, I should have just done a standard five combo there. Oh, actually, I could have just kept kept on going because I'd be indestructible. I forgot about that one. It's quite important, eh? Are you all right, Seaton? I'm all right. Thank you very much, Chance Five. I the uh, I the best thing happened to me ever uh, yesterday. So yesterday evening, um, as you may be aware, I went to uh, and I kind of like briefly told this on Instagram, but it was it was it was the the, the funniest moment. Um, to look back on in hindsight so i went to like this horror maze thing called tully's farm which is like a massive like halloween festival thing and they've got like eight like really really well done like horror mazes it's honestly if you're in the uk man it's like the best night out for halloween it's like my third time going there and it's I, I rate the attraction so much just because i've been three times and every time i've been it just gets better and better and better like they invest a lot more in like set design and making like the props and the scares and it just gets bigger and bigger like it, it's so good i really do rate it um so yeah I, w I went there yesterday and we were uh in the final kind of like maze of the night which is the chop shop so it's this kind of like um uh, hillbilly, it starts off with a little bit of a hillbilly themed one, and then you're essentially in kind of like, uh, white butcher's rooms with lo a load of blood, you know, there's meat dangling, and you're just getting chased around with people with chainsaws, right? They've got chainsaws, and they're running after you from every single angle. Um, so we get right to the end of this one, but the very end, literally the, the last bit, and we go into this room, and there is a guy just staring at us, and he's like revving a chainsaw, comes walking toward, and he's like staring me down really, really intently. Uh, you know, because, well, they're all out. That, that's what they're doing, like, because, you know, they're trying to get a bit of a spook in you. But after he does that and kind of runs up to me with a chainsaw, he then just goes straight for my ear and whispers, like... I love you, Seaton, in it, and I'm like, what the fuck, <laughs> you know, because this, this just scary character is just, uh, <laughs> uh, but obviously it's an actor, uh, and it turns out he was, uh, a, a, you know, a fan of the channel, uh, so that was, it was just crazy, man, it, it's just, it's such a weird place to be recognised, because I never get recognised in the UK, but I finally got recognised, and it was in a horror maze with a guy with a, a chainsaw that was coming at me. Uh, but he was he was very nice. After that, I kind of looked. I, I did a bit of a double take. I was like, what, "What's going on?" He's like, "You are seeing right." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I am, man. <laughs> really, really nice to meet you, mate." Uh, so uh, we uh, that was that was that was good, man. It was just a uh, it was a sick night. We had a really really enjoyable time. But uh, I ca I can't believe that happened, man. That was really really cool. But it was something that uh, you know my um. Uh, my my parents and uh, girlfriend after they were like, what what were you talking to uh, that person about? Um, and I was like, oh, uh, you know, he's just 
subscribe, subscribe, it, recognize me. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh, that's so silly. But yeah, it was cool, man. It was really cool. But had a fantastic time yesterday evening. Oh, beautiful, mate. Absolutely beautiful. What's the max uh, number of strands needed to explore this difficulty? I recommend uh, 400 plus, but 500 for safety there. We have used, um, what is it, around uh, 300 and a bit so far on the free-to-play account, so 400 plus. But if you want to be safe, 500 plus to do all of the stuff. Easy game, easy life. But yeah, I've actually only been recognised, just as a fun fact, three times ever in England. Um, and one of them was uh, in McDonald's, uh, and one of them was when... What was I doing for the, the second one? When I was at Legoland, I was re... I was at Legoland because my sister uh, is in... Uh, she does, like, performing arts and acting and all sorts of stuff, man. She does loads of stuff, and uh, one of the things that she does is uh, she's in the, one of the shows at Legoland... Um, so, we, uh, we were, me and my girlfriend, we just, like, it was the day after, like, a massive session day with the squad. So, we were hanging, we were, like, so hungover, and we could, like, barely comprehend anything, but we, you know, had to come out, support, support the sis in our show. Uh, so, we were at Legoland, and I was just, like just completely brain dead and we went out to order some lemonade and the the gentleman uh, pouring our lemonade recognized me um, and he was very nice man gave uh, had a little bit of a handshake over the counter but yeah that's uh, not not a terribly eventful one but I was in a very grim state there so it's just the, the weirdest places man oh sorted boys is Archangel good even without being awakened? He's got a lot of damage. He does have a lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> I hate your channel. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know. I know, Mike. It's glad it, he wasn't, uh, you know, an, a, a rabid hater of the channel that was about to saw me in half. Uh. But, oh, it was a sick time, man. Right, just trying to see if we can play this domino quite well. Eating up all my crit bleeds, turning them into power. It actually wouldn't be uh, a bad fight to... Uh, I think I had... What was it? True Strike recommended. Oh no! That's rubbish! Oh mate, come on! That was not a, uh, a fun time there. Not the not the funnest of times. A little bit worried about Dormammu now. We're probably gonna have to use a revive for Dormammu, but we'll we'll just um, smash him into the wall as much as we can. I think that's the plan for Dormammu, and just see what happens. But I think it's almost certain that we're gonna need to use a revive. But we only start taking damage on Dormammu where we get the uh, the degen. So I think we're just gonna use one revive. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, XX Blaze It Michael uh, says, take off your shirt. I'm afraid you're going to have to go over to the second channel, uh, which is uh, Seat in Man of Live Jasmine um, for that kind of content. Uh, but we are live every night from half past nine on Seat in Man of Live Jasmine um, for all your topless, pasty white boy needs. Oh, crap. I should have just gone for the evade on that one. I don't know why I didn't. What a, what a muppet. Okay, so let's uh, just quickly chink a 40% revive into this uh, this boy right here. Maybe you should have used that. Oh, 40, but it's a good time to use a 40% one. Oh, we could have got away with a 20%. Always the way. 
What? I got very lucky. It was all skills, my friend. I should have. I should have used. I, I should have followed my own advice and just used the true strike boost on that domino. But I didn't, and I'm a scrub. So don't be like me, because I need. I could be better at stuff and things. Um. Okay. Uh, we want undying and total carnage. Right. We got another undying one. Nope. We don't yet. So let's. Uh, pop that one and we should only need um, one more of each to get all the paths done but now we've popped both of these let's get into the fight sit back relax hmm I did miss a super chat you're entirely correct there I'm so sorry about that one I James James Horner dude I apologize I was so deep in my my storytelling uh, and I can I can only profusely apologize to you, my friend. It's not the kind of treatment you deserve as a quality patron of the channel. So, James, I'm sending you my my absolute mad love at the moment. Let me just quickly rinse the symbio supreme, and then we will give you all the love, attention, and respect you deserve as a premium patron. But James, let's get you up there. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give some blubbery wells in chat for our man James Horner? Uh dropping down that ten dollar super chat. So, um, James asks, uh, do you think Venom is worth uh, rank 5 of his buff? I'm loving him at rank 4. Um, I, I think the thing is, I don't really see much of a reason to take Venom up to rank 5. Because rank 5 characters, specifically, there's only like two things. Well, one thing that you really, really need them for, uh, which is Alliance War. You know, that's kind of the big thing for rank 5 characters. Because rank 4, you can do 100% Labyrinth of Legends of rank 4 characters. So, and I, I still think Venom's okay for Alliance War, but there are better options. Like, it would be much a better use of your tier 5 basic. But if you don't really care about Alliance War, then, and you just want to have fun, then yeah, go ahead and take Venom up to rank 5. But that would be my um, personal advice there. But also it depends on what's coming with Act 6 as well. And whether or not Venom's going to be quite good for that. But I think Venom does like kind of everything you need him to do um, at rank 3. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mohammed. There, appreciate the kind of words. Am I going to open the five-star featured? We will do later this evening. We're going to do a quadruple uh, five-star crystal opening, so keep an eye out for that one. I don't know what time we're going to schedule that for. Maybe five or something like that. I'm not too sure what the time is right now. Let's have a look at the clock. Yeah, probably about five. I reckon we'll schedule that one for. I played this game one year, and why not got Stark Spidey? Because you didn't grind for him in the arena when he came around as a basic champion, I would assume. Or you haven't been lucky enough uh, to get him from the crystals yet. Either one of those two answers. Oh, I keep on forgetting I've just got the, the button mash <laughs> one active at the start. Just go in without having to worry about getting that parry. Corvus, I'm saying like 4.5 million plus for safety in the Corvus basic arena, just because he's probably going to be at least about 4 million with his level of uh, desirability. If I sell my soul to you, will I get a Stark Spidey? Maybe. I don't know. It's, it's worth a try. Might happen. I can't say that I know of any way to increase your drop rate by selling the soul, but who knows? Give it a go, my friend. It's a fantastic time, Lucas. Comes highly recommended, my friend. Still find myself using units on this because you buy energy refills to not let boosts go to waste. Yeah, but it's, uh, you know, for all the rewards of like a T4CC 2500, um, uh, five star shards and one five star feature crystal and a few other bits and bobs It's a very good way to spend like a few hundred units and that's all it essentially is is a few hundred units it's Not really that much because I think we start the stream with about about 2300 and we are two paths away from getting it done so It's you know you still want to use well then again, if you wanted to play super efficiently, you always have the option as well to wait uh, right up, up until the end of the event uh, to see exactly, you know, get all of the, the strands you can 
developers doing all of the stuff if you want to be like super rigid and free to play and not spend uh, any units at all then you can do it at a much slower pace and split it over like several runs with a thousand strands because I'm still gonna have plenty of strands left over on my free to play all right there we go Imagine if the Chainsaw Man said, why isn't in the god tier? Why isn't Loki in the god tier? Oh my goodness. Why isn't Killmonger god tier? That could be it. <laughs> that would have been even more frightening, my friend. Is Magic better or Sentinel? I mean, it depends what for. Uh, Magic doesn't have immunities, but uh, Magic is generally a better uh, all-around character for offense than Sentinel is. Magic's insane for a lot of stuff in top tier Alliance War. Right, okay, let's chill out, man. Take the spe uh, special free. Is it possible to do with, this with a rank 4 symbiote? It makes no sense to. You should definitely do epic 100% before you even think about doing symbiote. So it it's possible, but it's highly inefficient and a waste of your time and strands. And for the, the strands and time invested, you might as well have just done epic 100% beforehand. Cool. Just about, boys. Took so much damage, I think, on one of the dashbacks there. Whew. Do I speak Turkish? Unfortunately not. I'm a friend. I'm a, I'm afraid. I'm a friend. That's it. I'm, I'm, words are difficult, ladies and gentlemen. They're very difficult. Uh, Allo Gog. Thank you very much for the, uh, the super chat there, my friend. Certainly appreciate it. Um, okay, we've got uh, three and a bit minutes left, so we can do a few more fights. If I keep the feature crystal, no, it's not going to roll over to the new champions. That feature crystal is what it is, so it's not going to, you know, um, be the new one, if that makes sense. So it, there's no way of changing it. It's a static crystal. Would have been, uh, you know, slightly more desirable if we just got the 15k chance, man. But for the effort, like, it, it's it's a very low amount of effort to put in for a, uh, a fully formed 5-star feature crystal. Because we're on the, the final path on the free-to-play account. We've used uh, three revives so far. It's been like an hour and a half. It's kind of like, you know, if you, if you think about celebrity challenges and what the rewards are for those and the amount of effort that you need to invest and then think about the rewards for Symbiote and the amount of effort you need to invest, Symbiote is much better than the celebrity challenges. Just that uh, if you we're putting those kind of two things, which are, you know, additional bonus events, maybe something to consider for comparison side by side. Take out going to New York Comic Con next year. I probably will be. No uh, guaranteed plans at the moment, but I thoroughly enjoyed uh, last year and this year. So if uh, my schedule allows it, I would love to go to New York Comic Con again. Because yeah, the last two years have been. crazy. Crazy man, and this year was so much busier. But I really hope they uh, they expand the booth a little bit um, next year as well. I think Gabe was saying that they might have plans to do that. Is this epic difficulty? This is symbio difficulty, my friend. Ah, oh, Lucas, thank you very much, man. I was gutted as well to pull Loki. It did not feel great. Oh no, definitely. I love seat uncollected level on ce celebrity challenges, and I think you are correct in the fact that it is very much needed. Okay, we've got 1 minute 40 left, actually. We might be able to finish this off without um, applying more boosts. How many strands are needed for Symbio difficulty? At least 400 for a little bit of safety. I'd say 500 plus if you want all of the, the luxuries though. But again, there's, there's no rush to do it. You can save for the final day and we've got like a crazy Symbio calendar as well. That gives you like a ridiculous amount of chance. And you can pick up more strands and stuff from doing even like the easiest versions of the, um, uh, the occult labs. Kid Wolf, dude, thank you very much for tuning in. Ah, well, I'll maybe see you there next year, Andy Fox. What 
One more run on Symbia difficulty, largely down to your guide, mate. So thank you, Donald, my absolute pleasure. And if you are one of those people that's like, how many, um, <laughs> what is it? What boost are you using? Check out the 100% Symbio guide because we have crashed this man. Absolutely demolished this difficulty in the last uh, hour and a bit. But all of the information on the boost setup stuff that you need to be aware of uh, is available on the channel. On the 100% Symbio guide. Come on. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, mate, so close. Oh, why did we get the crit there? What an asshole. Ah, oh, the fist of denial, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? If this was my main account and I had assassins, that would have been a kill. Like, that's just all I'm saying there, is that this game is rigged against the free-to-play players, um, and we should uh, protest right now. Let's start... Uh, how many how many strands do I have left? Okay, I've still got 105. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed, man. That was such a that was such a, a jammy one. Okay, so we gotta act activate till carnage and I'm dying one more time. Ah, rip. That that is an oof, man. That is an oof. Get in the I I got put in the bin, man. Got put in the bin by that incredibly large uh fist of his. No, I don't blame you on wanting the uh the Jeep to Carnage there. Igor. Igor. I think uncollected players should get a 4 to 5 hero on the calendar. Uh, it'd be very nice to see. I think it's probably not going to happen, though. Can I do another Mastery Setup video? It's still the exact same as it was before, my friend. So just type in Seton's Mastery Setup 2018 if you would uh, like to see my Masteries. Come on, mate. Where's this special free? There we go. Fantastic. Oh, I might do at some point, Nick. There's there's not really anything, like, super specific champion-wise, but, you know, if there are new, better champions, just use them as well. But a lot of 5.2 is, you know, kind of, well, or any progression, really, is just using what you've got to the best of its advantage. But, yeah, that, the general base advice in the um, How to Get Uncollected video has not changed an inch yet. But once Act 6 comes out and we do that 100%, then I think after I've done that on the main and free-to-play, then we'll do another free-to-play account. But that is a while in the future. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of actual gameplay, uh, we did it in just over an hour and a half there. So this live stream has been an hour and 42 minutes. Uh, sick run, sick run. So overall, I must say, Symbiote Man, if you uh, you know what you're doing, you got the guides, you got the information beho beforehand. It's it's very very straightforward to deal with. Do we get a four star crystal as well? Did that come with the, the shards? Oh, hmm, decent, not too bad. I don't know if it was a fully formed four star actually in terms of the rewards. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there we are. We are done for Symbiote on the free to play. It was a sick run. Thank you all so much for. Uh, tuning into the live stream today in terms of the amount of strands that we spent we made a few mistakes on the free-to-play one uh, but it was 400 and a bit but uh, you know maybe we had some stuff active that we didn't necessarily need to have active so it was all right there uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we need to give a massive shout out to our man Brandon dropping an end of the stream super chat there. Uh, thanks for all the guides, man. Oh, pardon me for that, that belt there. Hope you do better on your feature. Didn't shoot my Captain America Infinity War, but Paul Juggernauts. Oh, man, that is not good to uh, hear at all, my friend. Uh, but we are going to be back at half past five this evening, UK time. Actually, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Maybe five. I think I'll... um. Yeah, schedule it for five uh, to do a quadruple five-star opening. So we've got the two featureds, main account free to play, uh, and also a double five-star on the main, and a load of four-star champions, and a few other bits and bobs. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's live stream, feel free to smash that like button. Again, absolute mad love to our man, Brandon Nelson, for coming through with the super chat there. Uh, aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you all at five o'clock for a, uh, a live Kabam or maybe god tier ceo luck we're gonna have to uh wait and see you on that one but anyway take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day